Remember I used to come home and be like, everybody likes to hang around Mushroom. You'd be like, why? Cause he's a fun guy. <laughs> 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and my mother. You gonna introduce yourself? Hi. You just gonna smile. I'm mom, Vermer. <laughs> so today, we just gonna do some quick cooking with HelloFresh. So they sent me three meals, enough for four for each meal. So if you're not familiar with HelloFresh, let's give you the quick rundown of what that is and why HelloFresh is so bomb. Today's video is brought to you guys by HelloFresh. And of course, I love them. Been getting their boxes for over two years now. And what I've mainly tried is just their vegetarian fare. So I'm super excited that my mom is with me today. So that's number one. But I'm also excited because HelloFresh allowed me to switch it up this time and sent me enough for meals for four. And I also got to try one of their salmon dishes this time. And I'm excited because HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit. And and it's so easy to change your delivery days or your food preferences and you can even skip a week if you need to. Not only is HelloFresh simple to prepare, it takes on average 30 minutes or less to prepare. The ingredients are fresh and come straight to your door. And what's even better is HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. You can now get started with eight free meals and that's up to $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code Dr. Nina. 80 and get started today. I'm also excited that my taste testers today will be my mother and my videographer Jason. So if you're interested in HelloFresh, make sure you check out the link and use my code Dr. Nina 80. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. All the links can be found down below in the information section. I guess my mama really into this I'm into and it. shopping stuff. Let's go ahead and get to it, y'all. Y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. Y'all, we're gonna jump right in with the cheese tortellini and a mushroom sauce with Parmesan and chili flakes. And this one came with quite simple instructions as well as simple ingredients. So I don't know about y'all, but I ain't the biggest on cooking pasta, but when I have it, I want it to be good. So I was really happy that everything was so simple, like everything from the mushrooms, the Parmesan Italian seasonings, the cream cheese, sour cream, the chili flakes, even the tortellini itself, as well as the onion. And all the produce was fresh. All I had to do was wash it before we began. So I was looking forward to this. So y'all, my mom is already mincing the garlic. You having fun, mom? I am. My I mama do. like cooking, y'all. I do like cooking, but I just get my garlic out of the jar. <coughs> well, if you got Hello Fresh. Oh yeah. This. That's different. That's different. Mama, you a good cook, but I don't, I don't really understand this when they say like quarter chop it. I don't know. Quarter chop, I'm just chopping it to a point where I feel like I can eat it. Well, they wanted you to get at least bite size. That's another thing with these uh, mushrooms. You have to make sure you get these stems off. Little fungi, huh? Little fungi. Remember I used to come home and be like, everybody likes to hang around mushrooms. You'd be like, why? Cause he's a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, how old was I when you first started teaching me how to cook? Oh, so long ago. I was like eight or nine, right? Yeah. And the um, reason I didn't let you do a whole lot, of, especially around the stove, you were staying too close. <laughs> <laughs> All I could see you was catching on fire burning. <laughs> So I let you work on the table with me. I think I still do sometimes. I done been burned a couple times on the stove. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Somebody need to hurry up and invent a uh, smell of TV. Uh-uh, no, cause I be, I be super obese. Cause I be eating everything. I don't want to smell nothing on that TV. I already be hungry looking at it. Mama, not a good idea. Yeah. She said, yeah. Mama, you wash your legs? I most certainly do. 
All right now, okay, why do you wash your legs? Because some people don't believe in washing their legs. That's dirt on them. Bad skin. Exactly. And if you put lotion on it, or, or you know, like us, we put Vaseline well, on it. Some people don't put lotion on and Vaseline, and it's, it's greasy, and that stuff gotta come off. Skin gotta breathe. True, I believe in washing the legs. And heels and everything. It's been a long time since I haven't cried doing uh, onions. I don't know. See, I be thinking Hello Fresh got magic fruits and vegetables. The onions don't make me cry. And the vegetables are always so fresh and easy to chop. And that's why I've been including other people on this journey with Hello Fresh, like Jason and like my mama. So I want other people to see how good Hello Fresh is. It's really good. Well, you know I gotta cook my black eyed peas, honey. Huh? Today. Mama, we talk, right. <laughs> First off, we talking about Hello Fresh. We ain't talking about no black eyed peas right now. How old was I when I started staying at home by myself? Ten. Mm, about nine or ten. Yeah, between nine and, and ten. And I would cook a little bit, but not too much. You still have instructions. Yeah. Most times you put it in the microwave because I've been a cook for it before. <laughs> but y'all, see, this is the thing. Now y'all realize where my independence comes from. And I started working at how old, mama? 14 and a half. Yep. At Mickey D. Mickey D's doing them birthday parties. I sure did, and I used to get tips. <laughs> I sure did, because my birthday parties was live. I thought I was so wrong. And she thought sometimes she was off and they call and say they would, they need her. Oh sure, what time you want her there? They would call <laughs> at 4.30 in the morning. My mama would make me get up and go to work. But see, they like they really liked me because I was dependable. And most people there were not. And I was involved. Oh yeah, she'll be there. Mm -hmm. She have nothing to do. <laughs> I used to be like, yes I do, do nothing. She would get so angry with me too. I sure did, because I didn't want to go. Let me make that decision, ma'am. But now I love working. <laughs> Y'all, just in terms of timing, these meals are all about 30 minutes or less, and it really didn't take us long to chop everything up, especially having the help of my loving mama. She also salted the water for me, and then we put that tortellini in so it could get right and boiled good. And then I went ahead and got to saute up these mushrooms. And the cool part about it was, all the seasonings and everything that I needed was available. I think the only thing I had to pull from my cupboard was a little bit of oil, also some salt and pepper to taste. So that was pretty much it. And then I just made sure I followed the instructions in terms of putting in uh, all that produce that we chopped up, as well as all the other ingredients like the sour cream, as well as a little bit of butter. Yes, I did supply my own avocado plant-based butter, as well as making sure that I watched my timing and that I didn't brown anything too much and my mom helped me to keep track of everything so that made it really simple one thing that always makes me nervous when cooking is like creating sauces and things like that but the cool thing about hello fresh and i tell you guys this every time i show you a box that i get is they make it so simple even with how much of everything you put in or even when I drained the pasta, added in a little pasta water, my mom helped me salt and pepper, all of that making sure that everything was to our taste and to our liking. And it just was so simple from start to finish. And from there, all I did was make sure that I took it over to uh, the area where it could cool. I made my three plates because we had three taste testers this time. We had three good critics. And I really want y'all to hear what we had to say about the meal, but everything was so good and easy from topping start to finish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the chili flakes. Mm. This is kicking. And hey, you know I don't like mushrooms. I know you Me don't. Me either. Like, but this is like, it's not overbearing. Everything blends well. Mm. This is delicious. I love it. This might be one of my favorite pasta dishes mm -hmm. we've had. Man. This is good. Wow. Can I tell Hello Fresh I still need my garlic bread? 
My mama says she needs some garlic bread with this, which means it's good. It is delicious. The next one up was the bruschetta zucchini boats, which y'all had couscous as well. And I am a couscous fan, but I was interested in seeing how these different flavors with mesh and mix. I had never had all of this, including like the basil, a little bit of mozzarella, some garlic, zucchini, as well as the tomatoes and the stock, Italian seasoning, even though there were only a few ingredients, I was really interested in seeing how that would melt together. And basically this one included a little bit of baking, but it wasn't much. We made sure we prepared all of the vegetables just as you saw us do before. A little bit different this time was I had to empty out the insides of the zucchini so I can make little boats. So I also learned something new this time in terms of cooking and expanding my horizons. So that was really cool. And all I had to use of my own was salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil and everything else was provided. All right now y'all, taking it into the house. <laughs> So to prepare for the insides of the zucchini boats, I went ahead and chopped up the rest of the vegetables. The cool thing again is this only took about 30 minutes to complete everything that was needed, even the baking of the zucchini and then the preparation of the couscous. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with preparing couscous, but it can definitely go wrong. And the ingredients made this so simple and it tasted so good. I was so proud of myself for this couscous. Y'all don't even understand. And then just putting in like some of the fresher ingredients like the basil, and a lot of the other things that went into it just made it amazing. And all I had to do was fill the boats after they came out of the oven and put a little bit of mozzarella on them. And of course, they had to go back in the oven even just for a little while to get that cheese nice and melty. And you guys know I'm really not much into dairy at all, but I was gonna treat myself for this day. And it was well worth it and came out looking so, good so bomb but that's not even the end of it all we had to do was add in that couscous which y'all just smells so good and it cooked really tender in just that short amount of time and place the zucchini boats on top with a little bit of that balsamic oh y'all smell like heaven i can't even explain mm. 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 This is good. You never know what you'll find. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's poor, Mom. Great. Jason has left us to complete his meal. Mm-hmm. It is really good. Hello, practice and wear. This is good. You was wondering if that was good. And I thought maybe I had to, uh, Docker it up, but it is great. The season is perfect. Moving on from that meal was hard, but salmon limon, y'all, I was all about it. Salmon is one of my favorite things ever, especially since I'm not vegan anymore and I eat more of a pesca vegetarian and plant-based diet. I am excited about this salmon, and y'all know I have never had anything but the vegetarian meals from HelloFresh, so I was really excited about this one. I prepared it on my own because my mother is not a big fish eater. She specifically doesn't really like salmon. So I went ahead and did this one on my own, seasoned it up, and might I add, I was shocked by how great the fillets of salmon were with this one. Look at how they cooked up, y'all, with the skin on. It smells so good in my kitchen. I can't even describe it. And I basically cooked those pretty quickly, made sure my couscous was good. And the cool part about this one is I did shavings of the zucchini. So I had like the nice long looking zucchini and made nice salads out of that, like a nice little salad with salt and pepper, some olive oil. It looks so simple, but it was actually really delicious. And I also made a sauce to go over top everything. So this one had the base of the couscous as well. And I put the salad on as well as the salmon. Y'all, I felt like I was cooking at a restaurant. Do you hear me? I 
thought I was somebody making this meal and I felt more comfortable doing something different with my salmon this time so that was pretty awesome as well after that it was time to hear the verdict my mouth is watering y'all know salmon is like one of my favorite things bro this is a lot of stuff going on right now mm -hmm. I had to turn around on that this is delicious I wish I could just taste it right now. Like, I wish I could just like <laughs> taste Look it. Look at the picture there. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me be the deciding factor here. It tastes excellent. I must admit it's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's more than not bad. That's delicious. It is. Jason will be leaving to do his annual. <laughs> this is good. Mama, you gonna keep eating? I thought you ain't like salmon. I did too. Oh. Well, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed today's video with HelloFresh. Make sure you check out the link in the code in the information section. It's been real, but I got to finish eating. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.